Hello YouTube! I am back and my Xcode download has finished. You can see I've got 4.14 uh, gigabytes it appears to have completed. Uh, so I'm going to go look for it and it's probably going to be in my home a downloads directory. Yep, here it is. So what I'm going to do right now is run through the install of the development tools uh, for the iPhone application development. This is part two. If you are just starting with this video and you have not downloaded the toolkit yet, uh, you want to go follow video number one, part one, uh, which goes through the Apple website and shows you the Xcode and uh, what to download. So assuming that you have an image, a DMG file in your downloads directory, double click on it and uh, it should open up like it did right here. And um, we're going to click on the one that says Xcode and iOS SDK. Uh, the other one's about, it's a PDF file, you can read all about it, but let's just double click on the, uh, the install. So the package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Hit continue. Sure, why not? Uh, apparently it looks like it has been. Um, I have not, um, I have not installed Xcode before on this computer, um, so I'm hoping I have the prerequisites and everything needed. Um, I'm sure there's not really nothing needed. Um, I just clicked on continue from the first page. Looks like I'm presented with a license agreement. Uh, nothing to select OK, so I'm going to go continue again. And now here's the obligatory uh, to continue with the install. You must agree to the terms of the software license agreement. So I'm going to click on agree and uh, presented with another SDK agreement. I'm going to go OK. I guess you could go through and read the agreement several pages long. Or you can do what I'm doing and just click on agree. Uh, assuming that um, you agree to the license agreement uh, without reading it. And so this looks like the install is going to take 10.92 gigabytes of space. This is why in the first video I said uh, you're probably going to want like an 80 gig drive or something. Um, I've got a 250 gigabyte drive on my computer. Um, if you've got a kind of a small drive, if you've got a 60 gigabyte drive, you might not actually have 10 gigabytes of space left. Um, so especially if you have uh, music or anything on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and it's going to install in my, on my Mac here where I've got enough space where I'm going to install the software. And uh, installing the software requires 2.0. I don't know what it said 10 before. Anyway, I'm going to click uh, the only disk available and say OK. You can actually install this on an external drive if you wanted to. You don't have to put it on the main hard drive. So now it appears uh, to be looking at uh, installation here. Um, what do I want? Um, here we have the system tools that are installed. Uh, the Unix development looks like it's going to upgrade for me. Documentation install. Mac OS X 10.4 SDK. I don't really necessarily need that. I'm going to leave it unchecked because I don't I don't really need them. I don't really want the Mac. I want the um, the iPhone development stuff. I'm not going to write any Mac applications. If I did click on it, uh, looks like, oops, if I click, there we go. Looks uh, zero. Oops, I clicked too many times. Let's just leave it alone. Oh, there we go. I appear to have confused it by clicking too many times. Uh, and, and the install seems a bit. Well, now we go back to 10.92 on here. It seems a bit sensitive. Uh, there we go. Zero kilobits. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm going to unselect it though. I don't really want support for uh, Apple development, so it'll conserve some space. Anyway, I'm just going to click uh, continue and then I'm going to click install down here. So I did not select that last option. I just kind of I played with it for a few minutes and then just left it alone. Uh, you're going to have to put your uh, password in and uh, press OK. So now we're going to install, simply installing the Xcode and the iOS SDK. Um, so if you want the development tools to write applications for the Mac OS X, um, go ahead and select that option that I did not select. Um, I'm not going to use it really for app, for Apple development. I'm just going to use it for iPhone, so that's why I didn't select it. But this is going to put on the uh, the iOS SDK, which is going to include all of the emulators and all of the SDKs needed for um, iPad and iPhone development. So, 
seems to be running a bit slow. Uh, it looks like it is running. It's uh, writing files. I'm gonna let this go. In fact, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll pause the video and then I'll resume once uh, once this bar has gotten to the end. Otherwise, it's gonna be quite boring to watch. So go ahead and uh, uh, let yours run until all the files are written out and then resume the video and I'm gonna pause my video right now uh, to save you uh, some time. As you can see uh, the install is still running I thought I would resume the the video momentarily to show you that it's now changed to running package scripts and it says I have 17 minutes remaining so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again and then come back after uh, 17 minutes. Uh, hopefully yours is installing in the same type of way and um, I'll see you back in 17 minutes. Okay, it looks like my, uh, it's still going, but it looks like my uh, install process is winding down. I got about a minute left on the bottom, according to what it says. It's registering uh, updated components. Um, going to run through. Hopefully it'll run through successfully. It's quite a boring uh, install. Nothing too exciting. Uh, yours should look something like this. When it's all done, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find it. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to run it correctly. We'll, we'll see. And then the next video after this will be uh, sort of the hello world. Uh, let's start a iPhone project. Um, so this is the boring part, getting the software installed, running package scripts. Keep saying about a minute on the bottom. So Once we get everything installed, uh, we only have to do this once, uh, fortunately. And it is kind of nice that the, they're still supporting the snow, snow leopard and leopard. Well, I didn't actually see leopard on there, but I heard that leopard was still being supported. Um, which would be nice uh, because it's not really not that old and snow leopard really isn't that old either so I'm kind of hesitant over upgrading my system to lion but because uh, I, I I've heard uh, it runs a little bit slower than slow ne than uh, <laughs> snow leopard uh, but that I have yet to see it so I can't really comment on that but I guess my next MacBook uh, will be of a more current operating system it still appears to be running. That's a long. That's a long minute. Keep saying about a minute down here. So perhaps I resume too early. We'll get, ah, here we go. Give some time here. Running package receipts. Now you don't actually have to paint anything to do iPhone development. So here we go. We're done. Uh, you can uh, work with the emulator and never put anything on an iPhone. Just the same way you do with the Android. Uh, so don't worry about having to, to sign up for an iPhone membership. The installation has completed successfully, so I'm going to close. And uh, looks like I can close this window. And uh, I can probably get rid of the DMG image, but um, I'm going to take this here and, and un, you know, eject it, put it back. I'm going to keep it actually just to make sure my download worked correctly. So I didn't add anything to my dock, as I see, so I've got to go find it. And uh, so I'm going to search in my home directory first. And I'm probably not going to see it. Well, I don't see it, which is uh, no surprise, actually. So instead, I'm going to go into the applications. And in applications, I'm going to look for it. I don't really see it in here either. Uh, it could be in utilities. No, 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 no. What do we got here? X11. Oh, interesting. No, nope, don't have it there either. Uh, so I'm going to click on uh, Macintosh hard drive. And now I see developer. It's definitely going to be in developer, I believe. Uh, what do I see in here about Xcode? How about applications in here? And lo and behold, here it is, Xcode. So I found a kind of trial and error by hitting on the, my device for my hard drive. It's not uh, in my directory path for the users. In fact, it's going to be available to all users on this computer. So I, I clicked on the hard drive. I clicked on developer. I clicked on applications. Uh, I'm kind of curious what's in the documentation. Not too much. I may have um, Python Perl. 
not bad. I may have installed uh, some examples I did. That's good. Uh, iPhone example. Mm -hmm. Nothing really much in there. Mm -hmm. Text edit. Mm -hmm. All right. So it looks like some examples were installed. Not very much. I'm going to have some better examples for you. Some SDKs. What's in here? Uh, some Mac OS X stuff. All right, so I'm going to double click on uh, applications and I'm going to take uh, the Xcode and actually going to put it in my in my dock. Actually, I'll put it right next to the terminal window. So I don't have to go looking for it next time. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click on Xcode. I'm going to make sure it runs, actually. And on my other computer, it doesn't run that quickly. So I click on it. Kind of, it doesn't feel like anything's happening, actually. Uh, but it seems to work. Okay. Um, this is interesting. Hello Simulator. Um, hmm. I wonder if this project was left over from the last time I did development on uh, on this computer. Uh, but <clears throat> I was treated with a, I was greeted, I should say, with a welcome to Xcode. Um, you may not end up with either one of these two uh, options in your recent projects. I had an old version of Xcode installed on this computer and I currently uh, I uninstalled it before running this video but apparently it found some old files that I had. Um, you can un unclick this if you don't want to see this window again but it's just not a bad idea to, to kind of keep it going. You might want to experiment creating a new Xcode project starting you know, getting started with Xcode. Looks like there's some new tutorial options and things uh, that have been added. Um, it does run a bit on the slow side, so when you do click on something, in this particular case, uh, one of the tutorials is supposed to be loading. Um, here it is, actually. In fact, it went out to the website, it looks like, a uh, developer website. I clicked on getting started with Xcode, so following tutorials to learn uh, how to use Xcode. So. So this is pretty much the end of this video, which was the install of the package. We have installed what we needed. And so in the next video, um, I'm going to run through Hello World, and it's going to be a Hello World for iPhone. Um, I don't know if I'll run one for Mac, but um, excuse me, for uh, iPad, but uh, it should be very similar. Uh, but I'm definitely going to do one uh, for the iPhone. So I encourage you to uh, go through some of the you know finding, viewing documentation, going through some of the stuff that's here. Um, figuring out, you know, getting familiar with Xcode if you've never used it before. That way you can figure out where the menu options are and you know, stuff like that. Um, so you can sort of sort of be able to navigate it. Um, so. so I'll leave you with that. And uh, this is interesting. iOS. Interesting. Okay. So I'll leave you with that. And uh, the next video will be a hello world uh, for the iPhone. So if you don't get Xcode coming up like this, if it doesn't look like this, if you get an error message, uh, try to go through and install um, one more time um, or call Apple or go to the Apple website, You'll probably find an answer to your problems. But uh, I'll see you next time for Hello World on the iPhone. Thanks for uh, watching this video.